Hey gang, Scott here. I got a couple of questions about Brilliance AI and incorporating those into presets. Uh, and so I want to cover that in this video. Uh, if you have been using Photo Raw for a while when you were doing some of the adaptive AI type of presets, and you wanted to use the auto color and auto tone options, there was a little bit of a dance you had to go through in the preset settings to make that happen. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to say that's that's kind of gone with Brilliance AI. You just you know, kind of choose Brilliance AI and uh, on one does the right thing with a preset. But uh, you know, let's walk through it here. So this photo here, uh, you know, not my best, but this will uh, suffice for this particular example. We'll turn on Brilliance AI and that has done good things for the photo. It's found the sky, it's found the water. And uh, let's also say I, I want my dynamic contrast. You know, I like my dynamic contrast. We'll add that in. The rocks are looking nice and crisp. You know. Okay, so I have, you know, I have the basics of a preset ready to go here, and I'm leveraging Brilliance AI to do most of the work. So, you know, how do I go about creating a preset for it? Um, and I guess maybe sidebar, making a preset with just Brilliance AI in it is probably not necessary, right? You, if you, you watch my other video about Brilliance AI, you go in the preferences, you turn on what you want, and then you are just you know clicking the one button. It's just as easy as clicking a preset. But if you're combining a style like effects filters in with Brilliance AI, this will help you out. So uh, we've got our we've got our, our our things staged and ready to create a preset. So creating a preset, we'll go up to the settings area, and we'll choose Save Settings as Preset, and we pick a category. And here's where you'd have all your various options. Now for Brilliance, Brilliance AI is inside develop. And if you recall from the past, if you've been an on one user for a while, like when you're doing color and tone, you used to have to turn off most of these and just turn on the auto tone and auto color. Well, now you don't have to worry about any of that. If you have Brilliance AI chosen, well, any of these particular settings that are in here, you know, like, uh, let me cancel that out. I look in develop and I'm in tone and color and I see certain values here. You know, these are being decided by Brilliance AI. So when I'm making that preset and I choose Brilliance AI, Brilliance AI will set these for whatever my next target is. And the rest is just what else do you want to include? I certainly want my effects. Uh, I don't need masks. I tend not to include masks in the presets unless they are AI masks or luminance range masks or color range masks. And the last thing for brilliance, if you're using the local adjustments, make sure you have that selected too. What that will do is preserve the regions that get detected by brilliance AI. So we have all this stuff. Uh, let me just call this my, uh, let's say my test preset. We'll save that out. And let's move on to another photo that's very similar, this one here. And I want to use that preset, right? So let's open up the presets pane. I'll go find my sandbox. Here it is. And somewhere down in here, I have my test preset. I'll click on that. That preset's being applied now. You saw I kind of gave me the preview while I was hovered over it. Now it's actually being applied. And we'll wait for these uh, sliders over here to change. So I got my different settings here. Let's make this a little bigger. We see Brilliance AI is turned on. We see that we have locals. So it found sky, it found water, right? Those regions that we expected it to find, as well as has my dynamic contrast, you know, all the things we expect from a preset. But uh, one more thing just to drill down on to see what Brilliance AI did here and that whole question about auto color, auto tone, did that actually happen? Let's take a closer look at these tone and color settings for this was my target photo. I used the preset for this 25, 13, negative 59, whatever, whatever, whatever. And we arrow over to the other photo. And we can see they, they are slightly different, right? I have a little bit of a different amount of, uh, you know, surf and white and so forth. So the highlights here got a little bit lower. This one was a little bit higher. You're seeing subtle changes there because these two photos are quite similar. But the point is, Brilliance AI is doing the right thing, and if you choose it, then it will be applied and it will analyze your photo and set tone and color automatically. If you include the locals in it and you have locals turned on for Brilliance AI in your preferences, you can check that other video, you'll, you'll be on your way to incorporating Brilliance AI into your custom presets. 
Hope you found the video useful. Questions, go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.